All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning. Birds are chirping. Gonna walk around and tell you about a very nice 1940 Ford. Finished in a beautiful Viper Red. A lot of, lot of body modifications on this one. Kind of get up close and give you a good feel and look. It has a very nice set of... I uh, don't think I've seen too many guys do this. It's uh, I'd call them shadow flames. It's got flames off the sides into the back here, into the doors. They're just different shades of this Viper Red. So they lightened it, darkened it, shadowed it, that type of thing. Cruise around and tell you about it like we usually do. Out back here, it has Jag rear suspension. It has four-wheel independent suspension. It has uh, Budnick wheels on it, 17s in the rear, 16s in the front. The fenders are all custom molded to the body. It is all steel car. But you'll see how the fender seams have been reworked on it. It has 3M bra coating on the rear here to keep from chipping on the fender wells. Of course, you'll find a little, there's, oh, that's actually dirt. Um, and on the leading edge of the running board here, these are custom steel running boards. They're contoured into the body lines of the car off the fender, and you'll kind of get a look at the uh, ghost flames. I think the photo's captured quite a bit there. Door edges have been uh, radiused here. So a lot of time on the body, that type of thing. The mirrors are custom fitted to the body. This car's been built several years too, and I don't see any flaws in any of the uh, custom work here. It's very nice. See how the flames flow over the fender? You kind of get a good look there. The Budnick wheels up front, independent front suspension, power steering, rack and pinion power steering. French headlights, nicely fitted up front here. Custom fit. Nerf bar style bumper, built custom billet brackets it looks like here, chrome grill, custom chrome grill, the hood has been one piece fitted on it, in other words it would typically have a seam in the middle and all the chrome and stuff would go over that. Again, look at the flames, I drove this down here to the park, this car drives very nice. Underneath the hood here is a uh, GM 383 Stroker. I think they're rated about 425 horsepower, four barrel. Has a GM 200R4 automatic overdrive in it. Of course the Jag rear end out back. Tires are good, we'll go over those on the lift for you here. It has a uh, custom one piece curved windshield up front here, flush fit. And again the mirrors we talked about. The 2007 uh, NSRA safety inspection sticker. The other thing I didn't cover is the, the drip rails have all been smoothed off here. Again, contoured running boards. Get inside here. It has kind of a baseball glove style leather in it. Nice custom interior. High end audio system. We'll cover that for you. A little bit of a hill here, so. Really cool dash with canted gauges so you can see them better from the driver. High-end audio with I think three amps in the trunk and crossovers and tweets and speakers and has air conditioning. Center console here with the power seats. You gotta have the key on to work those, but I did operate them. Has emergency brake down there, center console here, power windows right there. Nice little compartment in the back. I know it's hard to see. We'll have some good shots at Spud's Garage for you. Birds chirping in the background. Headliner, suede headliner. Door seal plates there. It has a custom access over on the driver's side. It has a remote to access which rolls down the windows. Um, but it also has a remote release underneath on the driver's side over there. Out back here, custom resized, refitted, almost, uh, you know, 40 Ford would have had the two, the split window in the back. This has got a, a V-butt rear window in the back with a custom recessed third brake light. Again, you'll see how the drip rails are 
reworked here. Step back up front here is a power antenna for the audio system right there. Take a look there. Has a custom flip, reverse flip hood up front. I forgot to mention that. It's got a uh, electric power switch, much like you would have seen in the Cadillacs or Pontiacs trunks that when you shut it down, you push it forward. It closes automatically by itself. Give you a little peek of the rear end here. Very custom underside flip down license plate. Again, we'll have it up on the lift here for you. But the fit and the way things were brought together on it, there's a lot of hours and custom modifications on it. Step back, let's take a look there. I don't have the remote in my hand, so I'm reaching in to get to the door with the windows down. Tilt steering column here. This car was custom built in Lake Havasu City uh, by a gentleman, and it, it re still remains. He sold it to another gentleman uh, here in Lake Havasu, who is the current owner of it. He's owned it for a number of years. Definitely the kind of car you can drive. We drove it down here. Um, drove nice down the highway. I got captured some video of that. Brakes work good. Four wheel disc brakes, power disc brakes. See the canted gauges so you can see them from the driver. All VDO gauges. These are the air conditioning controls right here. This is the uh, power antenna switch. Or this one is, excuse me. Oh, I gotta have the key on, sorry about that. There's a remote here, after about five minutes or so, the battery turns itself off. We're gonna fire it up here for now. I flip the switch. Cover the gauges for you. Charge it. Almost 14 volts, oil pressure, uh, right about 60, 60 pounds mark. Never really warmed up coming down here. It's only 40 some degrees, so you'll see some condensation out of the pipe. 4,208 miles on it since the build. The engine was installed or updated um, after its original build, so it's very nice. Uh, probably not a lot of miles on it, a few thousand miles on the engine. It's all finished off here. Of course, the console is audio control here. This is the hood release right here. See the seats move. By the power lumbar goes up and down. Same thing, driver's side. Power steering. Again, there's condensation this morning. I think it's about time to tell you to get in. We'll take you back to his garage. Could be going to your garage. Hang on to the end of the video. We'll go to Spud's garage. All right, we we'll get you underneath the hood here. Very nice uh, Viper Red follows all the way through the firewall and finish modifications that way, smoothed out. Here's the electric release for the hood that we talked about during the walk around or open close. It closes by itself, much like a Cadillac trunk. Ram horn style exhaust manifold headers. Radiator, custom built fan sprout, flex fan. Holly carburetor. The engine itself is a uh, GM performance crate engine. 383 stroker. We'll have all the specs at Spud's Garage there for you. It has a uh, billet pulley drive system up here. Polished and chrome plated high amp alternator. 200R4 automatic overdrive. Here's the power steering reservoir for the power steering. Coolant reservoir tank here. Again, smooth firewall, GM HEI distributor there, vacuum secondaries on the Holly carburetor, AC receiver dryer here, Palo Sanyo uh, air conditioning compressor, 
serviceable K&N air filter and the Jag rear suspension that we talked about. We'll fire it up here for you. Show you how the hood shuts here. You just set it down here, push it forward, there it goes right there. Finished off just like the interior buckskin style leather in the back here. The battery box is here, fuel fill is here. Wool carpet matches the interior. Here's the uh, audio sound system in it in the back. Crossover network. Looks like three amps here. Bottom side of the deck lid. Okay, we're going to start it up here and head back and. LED lights there, shifter indicator, neutral, overdrive. Power steering, power brakes. transition from gas pedal to brake. All right, we got this 40 Ford Custom up on the lift here. Very nice. Uh, we'll go to Spud's. When we get to Spud's Garage, we'll do the specs on it, that type of thing. Uh, professional build several years ago. A lot of nice components. Jag rear end, quad coil over shocks, adjustable, inboard disc brakes. So four wheel independent suspension has a custom polished stainless fuel tank in it fully engineered chassis uh, don't know the manufacturer but it is a custom built chassis all chrome plated lower control arms here on the jag has the emergency brake set up here has a remote trans cooler with a uh, cooling fan on it All the lines are run along the frame here, polished stainless. Has uh, vacuum backup reservoirs for the power brakes on it, so it has four wheel power brakes on it. That's a Corvette style master cylinder. Has a dropout member here so you can get the transmission out. That's a 200 R4 automatic overdrive transmission in it. Up front here. Has gas shocks, coil over front suspension, tubular op upper control arms. Uh, don't know where these are off of. They could be Jag, the lower control arms. Looks like a custom fitment. Mustang 2 style. Has a brand new 383 GM crate motor in it with not a lot of miles, so oil pan to intake. Mechanical fuel pump right up in here. Has a stabilizer bar up front here. It's like a remote release for the hood right here. Bottom side of the chin has one little baby scrape right there. Pretty typical, they're pretty low. Take one more pass through here to kind of give you a feel. So it's got the 200 R4 metric. Custom exhaust brought together, rear exit. Forgot to cover one other thing here, has a drop down license plate. When you start it up, do a quick little around the side here, kind of cover that for you. 
Want to cover tire sizes. These are dated 2020, late 2020 on the back. So uh, tire size on this one is a uh, 235-55ZR17. So 17's in the rear with Budnicks. Up front here, it has uh, 205-55R16s. I'll get you a look at the nose and uh, thanks for visiting. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage.